Hi, this is Dr. Vivek and in this video I'm going to share with you name of herbs and few vitamins that you should not consider using if you are suffering from diabetes or you are pre-diabetic or you have insulin resistance. See there are lots of articles, lots of information what you should take but people confuse and they do the mistake of using the wrong herb. So in my list, the first one that people often use and I think should not be considered using is aloe vera. Aloe vera juice, aloe vera pulp, anything that's related to aloe vera, I will say not to use if you are having problems like diabetes or you are pre-diabetic or insulin resistance. So do not consider using aloe vera because it may spike your insulin level. The second herb that I generally don't prescribe to my patient is ashwagandha. Yes, maybe shocking for you, also known as Indian ginseng, but I really don't prescribe ashwagandha ginseng for people suffering from diabetes or are pre-diabetic. So don't use it. Now you might be saying, oh, ashwagandha is so powerful. Everyone says that ashwagandha is powerful. See, moringa, is more powerful for people who are suffering from diabetes. Madhu Nashini is more powerful, also known as Gymnema. Third is insulin plant powder. So these herbs are more, much more effective for people who are suffering from diabetes than ashwagandha or aloe vera or ginkgo biloba. Yes, the third one that I would not prescribe to my patient is Gink Biloba. Yes, Gink Biloba is very good for your brain. It calms your body. But if a person is suffering from diabetes, then it's better to stay away from Gink Biloba because it can spike the insulin levels or it can increase the blood glucose level. See, it is not going to happen with everyone, but why to take a risk if even 20-30% of people have seen that this can spike the insulin. So why to take a risk? There are many other herbs. I have told you some of the names. So use them instead of Ginkgo Biloba, Ashwagandha, Aloe Vera. So number fourth is going to be Vitamin E. Yes, vitamin E. That's beauty vitamin. Yes, it's good for your skin. It will nourish your skin, but don't take vitamin E capsules. If you are suffering from diabetes or pre-diabetic condition or insulin resistance, then you will get vitamin E from the food. So don't go for the supplementation of vitamin E or don't take the food that are rich in vitamin E especially means don't concentrate on eating the food that are rich on vitamin e because this will spike the insulin so we don't want this so just eat healthy food and that's all you will get vitamin e from there also don't focus because little bit of high dose can cause high spike in insulin level now fifth on my list this is vitamin b3 why because people who are suffering from diabetes or are pre-diabetic or have insulin resistance they can have complications with the heart and vitamin B3 can increase these complications because many of these patients are on blood thinning medicines and using vitamin B3 with this is going to complicate the situation further. So this is what we don't want. So don't go especially for vitamin B3. And if you are having any of the issues, then look what you are eating or is there that you are consuming more vitamin B3. Three. So we don't want this. So vitamin B3 try to avoid or just eat healthy food and you'll get from there vitamin B3 also. The last in my list is vitamin C. Shocking. Yes, it is. Yes, people who are suffering from diabetes or who are pre-diabetic. Yes, they need vitamin C. But important is just don't supplement uh, big doses of vitamin C, for example, 1000 milligram in a day in a tablet or 500, 800 milligram. No, don't do this. Try to get it from the food or if you are supplementing, supplement in small doses. Don't go for heavy doses, higher doses. 100 milligram, 200 milligram, 300, more than sufficient. Anyways, if you are eating right, you will get all this from the food that you are eating. So eat right this is most important and vitamin b3 vitamin c all this you are going to get from the food that you are eating and this is not going to create any of the problems so start eating healthy 
avoid these mistakes that I have shared with you in this video. I have a video where I have talked about the best herbs and the herbal medicines for diabetes. I will put the link down below in the description box. Just have a look. I hope this video will be helpful for you or your loved ones for whom you care. So take care and see you in next video with big smile. Up to the time, smile more, stay happy, stay healthy.